Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to learn about accounts receivables. Accounts receivables is the value of money owed to the company from goods and services that were already provided to the customers, but not yet paid for. If a company has $10 million in accounts receivables, it means that customers owe $10 million to the company. They're obligated to pay $10 million to the company for the products and services they received. Essentially, accounts receivables are created when businesses provide the goods and services first and get paid second. This is a very common revenue model for many businesses across the world. So say for example, you get cable service for the month. You get to watch all of your TV shows and have access to the internet. In other words, the cable company has delivered its service to you for that particular month. And then at the end of the month, they send you a bill asking you to pay. During this period between when the company has already provided its service to you and when it receives your payment, it will record the value of money you owe on the balance sheet under accounts receivables. It has already delivered the service, so it gets to recognize the revenue on the income statement. But recall that recognizing revenue and actually receiving cash payments are two completely different things. So while revenue is recognized for the value of the cable service provided, the cable company hasn't received cash from you yet. So the value you owe is recorded under accounts receivables. It obviously wouldn't make sense to record the money customers owe under cash and cash equivalents because the company hasn't received any cash from them yet. If all businesses get payments at the same time products and services are provided, then accounts receivable wouldn't exist. But in reality, there's often a time lag between when products and services are provided and when payment is received, which creates accounts receivables. Accounts receivables are generally settled in less than a year, meaning that customers are expected to pay their bills within a year of receiving them. Said differently, accounts receivables can be converted into cash and cash equivalents in less than a year, so it's considered a current asset. Naturally, some people might ask, why is accounts receivables considered an asset? Accounts receivables is an asset for the business because it represents the value of money that customers owe to the business. Customers owe the company. They'll eventually pay the business with cash, and cash is obviously an asset. That said, the value of accounts receivables by itself doesn't really tell us much about the business. Instead, we have to use it to calculate ratios and changes in cash flow, which would impact our investment analysis. We'll learn how to do that in a later course. For now, the focus is on understanding what accounts receivables is, why it exists, and why it's considered an asset.